This week in the MCC, we should expect to see the custom game browser, the new MCC store, and potentially some feedback about the Halo 3 undersuits. All that and a bit more, so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like this kind of videos, so want to see some more content like this, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more stuff like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. Though I apologize if I'm a little late to the news on this video, I actually had an impromptu like getaway weekend with the wife. We went out to the ocean here in Washington, which was a great weekend. I had a chance to also play a very special song in a very special location that I think you guys might see a little later on on this channel. But in this video, we're gonna be covering the custom game browser mainly and the recent update that we had of talking about it and giving some really good details of what we can do with the custom game browser, like basically create our own playlists. The news that one of those Halo Online maps that are being tested in the flight right now is not making it into the MCC, as well as some feedback about the undersuits currently in Halo 3. So let's get right into the content here. So if you guys watched my video on Friday, you might know that the date might have been pushed back on the Halo MCC flight update for the custom game browser. Friday came and passed. We don't have the custom game browser because it got pushed into this week. And in this recent MCC development update, they go into some details talking about the game and some of the updates coming for the flight. Talking about this week, they talk about the custom game browser coming into the MCC flight this week, which is going to be fantastic. It's only going to be for Halo Reach. This is phase one. It's going to be released in phases. They mentioned this previously. They also talk about performance improvements on Waterfall, which definitely could utilize a little bit of that and some bug fixes because I'm sure they have some concerns with Waterfall right now which we'll get into later in this video. Now you probably heard about the custom game browser coming into the MCC eventually and it's been a really long time. I think last they first mentioned it back I think in August was when they first mentioned it and I'm like hey how long does it take to make a custom game browser? That's because they've actually increased the scale of this and made it into something totally unique and awesome. Mentioning here specifically saying the custom game browser will be added into MCC over phases as we build it out to support across all games. Since sharing our initial concepts of it versus what we are building now has really grown in terms of scope and features. And here are those scopes and features mentioned right here, saying that the custom game browser will only be available for Halo Reach in phase one. They talk about two specific different types of flow. There is create flow, and then there was browse flow, and each one has their own subsection. So let's just dive right into that. So for the create flow, custom game browser allows players to create your own custom game sessions that will run on dedicated servers. So nice to see that the custom game browser is running on dedicated servers. I think Halo Halo 5's runs on peer-to-peer, -peer, if I'm not mistaken. That's probably why it runs so sloppy and just really janky experience when playing that. So playing the custom game browser on dedicated servers will hopefully allow it to be a much more fluid, much more enjoyable experience. But to talk about sessions here, so sessions will allow for session name, a minimum player count, a max player count, regional server selection, repeat game option, team changing options, and map and mode elections. You also have the pre-game phase where if the minimum player count is not met you will load in and play as modified slayer variant while waiting for the minimum player count threshold to be reached. Again you can set that minimum player count. I think this is just so then you can have a chance to just jump in and start playing wait, rather than waiting around for people to join in. Interesting thing here that I'm actually really excited about saying the custom game browser will allow players to essentially create your own playlist. Play the games you want, how you want, and run through a series of maps and modes. There is a repeat game option which will allow you to continue playing with the same players on the maps and modes you defined for your play session immediately when the game ends, when it is turned on. If not, when the match ends, you will go through the natural post-game carnage report flow and be able to select what happens next. This part I'm a little confused on because saying they repeat game option makes me just think, just run it again. The same thing we just did, play it again. And But then it also says uh, allow players to like between the maps and modes they define. So this is going to be like automatically just load into the next game randomly selected by like the maps you selected or something like that. 
for the repeat game option basically will allow like 24 7 playlists right so like i really would love to play like a blood gold 24 7 playlist in mcc i think that'd be huge for the game to bring more people back into the game to play it especially for the matchmaking i think they're kind of letting players decide this for the custom game browser and again once that flight update happens i'll let you guys know exactly how that experience happens in game so i'll definitely release a video on that we also have team changing options but if you guys know right now within the mcc you can't exactly change your teams well in game well now you'll be able to so hopefully you get a chance to experience those halo 2 zombies exactly how you did back in 2004. And those options include leader only pre-game only and as for always and talking about those maps and modes you'll be able to select they mentioned here saying you'll be able to select the maps and modes you want to play with some limitations to how many combinations you can choose we ask that you play around with it and let us know what you think. Now the second portion is the browse flow. When you're searching for games, how's that experience? Well, they mentioned here specifically saying this will, well, they mentioned it here specifically saying this is used for players to select and join an already active custom game browser session. When you open up the browser tool, by default, the browser list is sorted by player column in descending order and prioritizes games that have more players in them. Again, they mentioned by default so you should be able to select how you want to sort out what games you want to search for browse will display information about the session including name game modes maps and player count and ping to the server region being used. Selecting a session will allow the user to see more information about it as well as join directly on it if slots are available. And honestly, this actually is a really good option because obviously when you're letting people kind of do the, what you want on the internet, sometimes people take advantage of that in the wrong ways. And so there is actually going to be a report option as well for you to go through your custom game experience. Uh, you can report at the maximum of five daily reports. Now what qualifies for something that should be reported is I think up to the context of the situation. I think that's why they kind of left this rather vague. So I think like those clan recruit lobbies you see in Halo 5 won't exactly be something that would should be reported. But I think if you have some toxic behavior or some people are just doing some things you shouldn't be doing on the internet through Halo, that's something that should be reported. Now a very important thing to take note of is saying that in this update, they mentioned about how they're not afraid to hold back the custom game browser for the season six update, saying to be very clear to all players, if this feature is not ready based on flighting feedback, like any feature we flight, we will not release it next season. So after this flight, if the custom game browser needs more time in the oven, they are not afraid to hold it back for the season six update. And if that happens, I guarantee you, I will let you know on this channel. They also talk about Waterfall, the new map that's in the current flight right now, which actually I've been having a lot of fun with. It's been playing rather well. The performance certainly could be better and they mentioned that in this development update, though I don't feel like they addressed the issues specifically talking about how you can easily get out of the map. And I think they need to build out some barriers on that map, but I'm sure 343 knows all about that. But they mentioned here specifically saying that only Waterfall will be making it into season six. Edge, which is currently being flighted, needs more time, they said, which will not be coming in season six. And in this last section, they talk about the undersuit feedback because with season five, they changed the undersuit quite a bit to where it doesn't really match the classic look so much as well as some of the geometry but then with this flighting they kind of build it back out to make it look more like the classic tech suit that's been with Halo 3 for forever pretty much uh, but they also posted a thread within here saying talking about some feedback they would like to see with that and a lot of people have been talking about more customization options saying like being able to put the katana on your back without having to use like the katana body piece another feature that will be coming in with this week of flighting update for the mcc flight which was referred to previously as the mcc store but now they changed that to the seasonal point exchange feature which doesn't exactly roll off the tongue as well as the mcc store but it's more accurate description of what it is because when you hear store you're like oh my god paid microtransactions that's not happening with this what this seasonal point exchange feature will allow people to do is to spend seasonal points on content that was tied to seasonal challenges. So for example, say the Recon Slayer playlist, they had that get to level 20 in that playlist, you earn the Arctic Sniper Rifle Camo. Well, now you can't earn that right now because there is no Recon playlist in the MCC. So how do you do it? Well, I think what 343 is going to be doing is putting content like that into the seasonal point exchange feature. I covered this previously in other videos. So if you guys want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, make sure you subscribe to the channel. But there's going to be a very fine line 343 is going to have to balance out when it comes to how much are these items going to cost when it comes to seasonal points because I would like to see them being 
rather expensive on your seasonal points because people spend a lot of time and effort to earn these items within the game. It would just be a shame to see people just go out and buy them right away for like five seasonal points or something like that. And also I would like to see a nice little seasonal delay at least when it comes to the content. So say for example, for the people who did the Because You Beg challenge to get the Mr. Chief helmet in season five, I would hate to see that be available in season six because then it completely invalidated the people who grinded out that challenge to earn that helmet. But honestly, I think like anything for season six, seasonal point exchange feature should be content from season four and earlier. Have at least one season delay for people to, to enjoy that content and, and to enjoy that exclusivity. But as soon as that feature gets put into the MCC flight, you guarantee I'll be making videos on it guys. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you've been on the loop for the last few days or so or missed any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.